So anytime I want you to look at one of those problems that has a Wolfram CDF player problem, you're going to see that I provided the link for you in the actual problem. It says, please view the interactive example for this problem by downloading the following. You're going to click there. I don't know, some of the links might not be quite the right link, but if you're looking at the e-text as well, you're going to see it on LarsonCalculus.com. You choose the section number. For instance, this is section 2.2. You choose the problem number, and it would be problem 5. And then you can download that file, and then you can open it up. And if you've downloaded the Wolfram CDF player, you're going to take a look at it. So it says, you may use a table or a sketch to show your function of the work. We're finally working with transcendental functions. That would be trigonometric functions. We're finally working with our trigonometric functions here. So highly, highly recommend that you, you look at this on Wolfram, or well, you, you could use the Wolfram CDF player, but minimally, I would look at this on Desmos. And I want you to look at the graph. The graph of this is actually pretty crazy. Looks something like, like this and it just starts oscillating like crazy and then it goes back to something like this so this is sine of 1 over x looks like this but I, man I can't even I can't even give justice to to around that uh, origin how fast it oscillates I mean it almost just looks like a, a solid black line there so that's what the graph looks like and the question then becomes well does does the limit exist because it seems to me like it's bouncing between these numbers and the, the numbers, the y value that it's bouncing between is negative 1 and a 1. So it's infinitely bouncing between those numbers, negative 1 and 1, infinitely close. So the question is, does the limit exist? Well, you could sit here and you could do, again, we're, we're looking at sine of 1 over x. We can't plug in the number 0 because it would be 1 divided by 0, which is undefined. And you can't find sine of an undefined number. So at that point, it's undefined. You can't evaluate it. So we could sit here and try to do a chart just like we've done in all the previous problems. We have our x value, we have our y value, you're plugging it in into sine of one over x. You would try to plug in the number zero, we know it's undefined. You'd try plugging in numbers to the left of it and numbers to the right of it. Go ahead and do that. I'll do the exact same numbers that we've been doing every time. Negative 0.1, negative 0.01, negative 0.01. Likewise, I would go with 0.1, 0.01, and 0 0.001. I'm going to try plugging this into my calculator, so I'm going to go ahead and hit table on my calculator. I'm going to clear that out. I'm going to type in sign, hit SIN, hit the N over D button. I'm going to hit 1 divided by X, hit enter. S, or start doesn't matter, step doesn't matter, just make sure ask X is selected, hit OK. And then I have those numbers typed in, negative 0.1, enter, negative 0.01, enter, negative 0.001, enter. I'm getting the following values. I'm getting 0.54. I'll put the red values in red, or sorry, the Y values in red. So I have 0.54. I have 0 0.506, and then all of a sudden I have negative point zero, or sorry, negative point eight two seven. I guess if we wanted to round it, let's try those numbers to the right. What if I tried in 0.1 enter, 0.01 enter, and 0.001 enter? I'm getting the value for 0.1. I got the value of negative 0 0.54. 0 0.01. I got negative point five. One, I guess, doesn't really matter. And then I got an eight point, uh, or sorry, zero point, clean that up, zero point eight three ish. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter here. But what's the idea? Is this approaching a single number? Well, from the left, does it look like it's approaching something? And I would argue, no, it doesn't really approach a single number. It starts going positive. You might think that it's approaching one half but then the closer I get all of a sudden I jump to negatives same thing over here I start negatives and then all of a sudden I jump to a positive and if I started getting closer and closer and closer I'm going to notice these values keep on going infinitely back and forth between negative one and one positives and negatives and all over the dang place and it doesn't actually settle to a single number so it certainly doesn't approach a single value. 
a single y value. If it doesn't approach a single y value, that means the limit as x approaches zero of sine of one over x does not exist. That's what that means. So that's how we're able to answer the problem on that one. And again, you can see this on the graph because you don't see a single y value that it approaches. It seems that it approaches, well, virtually every y value between negative one and one. Okay, so let's look at this. It says common types of behaviors associated with non-existence of a limit. F of x approaches a different number from the right side than it does from the left side. So this was like the absolute value of x over x. From the left, it was negative one, and from the right, it was one. Number two says f of x increases or decreases without bound. This was the example as we had one over x squared. They both went up to infinity, so we could technically say the limit is infinity, but really infinity isn't a number. So I guess technically we couldn't. We could say it, it, it grows without bound, without a doubt, and we would actually write it equals infinity, but the limit itself does not exist because it doesn't approach a single value L. The third one here says f of x oscillates between two fixed values as x approaches c. So this is where, where you looked at sine of 1 over x. It oscillated infinitely between the numbers, the y values of negative 1 and 1. It never actually uh, settled down to a single number. It oscillated between two numbers. So each one of those, if you have any one of those cases, left doesn't equal the right. They either both go to infinity or negative infinity or opposites or they just infinitely um, oscillate between two numbers? The answer is the limit does not exist.